Thank you. Guys. It's been a minute. I'm just going to be uh, just talking about some stuff that people have been asking me about today. So welcome back to the channel. If you're new, welcome for the first time. Uh, I wanted to talk about something today that I thought was interesting and it's something that somebody was talking to me about. And it was a question, should you play Marvel Strike Force in 2020? Now you're probably like, Combs, I thought you weren't making these videos anymore. And I'm not, because I'm not playing the game. So I'm very limited to what I can talk about. But I know a lot of you guys still want me to kind of talk about Marvel Strike Force. I don't know that I'm going to, but I did want to make this video just for those of you asking. Like I said, I've had people asking. So should you play Marvel Strike Force in 2020? Um, it's a great question. But first, a word from our sponsor. So you guys are probably wondering, who is this sponsor? Well, let me tell you, it's Raid Shadow Legends. You guys have always been joking with me. Oh, am I ever gonna do one of these? And I am. So here it is. This game has so much to do. There's so much to complete, so much to grow in, equip, unlock. Like there's so many characters in this game. I feel like there's more characters in this game than any other game that I have ever played in my life. One of the really cool things right now is that there's a PC version as well as a mobile version and most games do not have that. And that's pretty dope. It's completely free to play. Of course you can, you can still remain competitive without paying. So my favorite character right now, her name is Elhane. Uh, she is one of the characters that you can get at the very beginning of the game. Super cool archer chick. What she does is she has like big AOE attacks, which are awesome, super helpful in this game. So the link in the description is uh, my link that helps me out if you guys download the game through that. And you end up, you get uh, 100,000 silver, you get some energy refreshes, and these are all things that you can use in the game to help you get a little bit ahead. You also get a character to start off with. His name is Executioner, so he's dope. Uh, keep an eye out for that. You definitely want him early game. One last thing that I wanted to mention to you guys, I went and I changed my shirt just for fun. Uh, when you're collecting your rewards, it's going to be right up here in the top. It's going to be right in the inbox up here in this corner. You're going to hop in there and grab it. Those rewards are only going to be available for the next 30 days. So make sure 30 days from the time that this video is live. So make sure that you get in there and get them. So it's kind of been a running meme. Everybody was asking me when I was going to do a Raid Shadow Legends sponsor on this channel. So that's uh, that was that. So there. Now you guys know Raid Shadow Legends. Anyways, so back to the the whole thing, the the thing at hand, right? So should you play Marvel Strike Force in 2020? And you might think Combs' answer is obviously going to be no <laughs> in the video. So that's not necessarily my answer. Uh, I think it just depends, right? I think this answer depends on you. And what do I mean by that? Okay, so Marvel Strike Force. What is good about it so it's a lot of fun you get to collect and unlock your favorite characters and like your marvel characters that you recognize and you get to do that you get to be in the game you get to i guess it's like do these battles and like it, it's cool right so like it's to me like the more i've thought about this i've thought about this for a couple weeks now because this is when the subject was brought up to me like should people play it now should new players start can new players start it's a good question. Do you want to play this game competitively? Or do you want to play this game casually? Because there's a lot of positive things about this game. The animations are dope. You can unlock your favorite Marvel characters, which is sick to me. And the gameplay is fun. It's not like it's not. So looking at those things, you say, okay, well, yeah, let's try it out. Like, let's give it a go. And uh, like I said, the main question comes back to, can you play the game casually? So obviously you guys know my story and you know that for me i got really burnt out on the game because i was not willing to play the game casually i just didn't want to for me it just wasn't going to work and i needed just i just wanted to be the best that's how i am in life i mean that's that's how i am with everything like i want to be the best person that i can be at whatever i'm doing i don't know why i'm that way i don't know my parents must have just instilled that in me when i was a kid or something but that's just how I am. I want to be the best that I can be, and I'm going to do everything I can to be the best that I can be. So when it comes to Marvel Strike Force, there's two different camps. So there is, well, I guess there's there's pay to win, free to play, 
right? So like you have both of these. Okay, so pay to win, you can get like ahead and far and be doing great and feel great and have everything unlocked, but you're spending hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of dollars and it's just crazy. I don't recommend that way. Or you can be free to play. Okay, so you can be free to play and you can be casual. And if you're casual, then like you're just kind of going to unlock stuff as it goes. You're not going to be doing the hardest of best stuff. And to some people, like myself, that's a very frustrating process and thing. Like, it's not just like, it's not that simple, right? Like, I guess for me, when I played the game, it was like, well, I want to be the best. It's like, okay, well, I'm not going to spend money because I don't have that kind of disposable income. Plus, I don't necessarily think it's the best investment because you don't get any return on it. Maybe you sell your account for a couple hundred bucks. That's it. And you have fun. But uh, is it worth that much to be? I don't know. Kind of going on a rant here about spending money on games. Don't want to talk about that. That's not the point of this video. The point of the video is, should you play in 2020? My answer is twofold. Twofold answer. Yes, if you can play casually. No, if you are like me and can't help but want to be the best that you can be. Now, is there like a little line in between? Where it's like, oh yeah, like I'm going to go super hard and I'm just going to go nuts. And it's like, okay, like, yeah. And then I'm going to rein back for a little bit. Join a less competitive alliance and then go back. And then but I don't recommend it. I really don't. I really think that playing this game at a competitive high wanting to be top ranking level is no good i don't think you're gonna be happy i don't think you can be i think it just sucks all the time and the energy from you and it uh, honestly in my experience it damaged relationships friendships um i didn't have healthy habits i wasn't sleeping enough and so this is not to get on to about all the reasons why i quit the game because we already you know if you're following the channel you already know the reasons why i quit the game so I think if you can play the game casually, the answer to the question is yes. Play Marvel Strike Force casually in 2020. So if you're a brand new player, you should play the game. In fact, watch some of my videos. I have some videos that'll help you guys. But I mean, who doesn't want to play a game where you just get to play around with like your favorite Marvel heroes? Like it's so dope. Like I realized after I quit, like I see that they got freaking symbiote spider-man coming into the game i've been asking for that for forever i love symbiote spider-man and like there's like a whole like symbiote faction now like those are my favorite characters and it's like i don't know I'm like that's awesome like i want to play with those guys but i know for me like that's just not going to be a thing right like it's just not going to be a thing for me so maybe for you guys I mean, i'm sure that you know i know many people are still enjoying it so if you're a new player get in there try and find a good alliance with some good people and uh, just, you know, cash it up, you know, hit that casual button and just roll through, play when you want to. Don't worry too much about blitz mode. That's the tips that I would give um, if you were going to play is just be very casual, like find an alliance that's just like kind of chill, like not like super strict or crazy. Uh, don't really worry too much about blitz. Don't really stress that much about arena. And if you can manage to do that, like you're going to have a much better time. Like just collect characters as they come out and enjoy that. Enjoy building the teams that you like. I mean, I realized that I enjoyed this game a lot more when I focused on the teams that I wanted to focus on instead of just building whatever I had to for the meta or for the whatever or whatever, you know? So I started building the Supernatural team and that was my favorite team. Like that was the best and I loved that. And so I did that. And I had a lot of fun with that team, and I really enjoyed playing them and unlocking them and everything else. So it's like, for me, that's when I had the most fun was playing casually. So that's the answer. I'm going to quit rambling at you guys. But if you can play casually, you should play Marvel Strike Force in 2020. If you cannot play casually, I cannot in good conscience recommend it because it will eat up your life and your dollars and your time, and you will just, I don't know, it won't be any good. So... That's all I got for you guys on this topic, man. I appreciate you watching. As always, um, I've been doing different content on the channel. I'm not sure where we're kind of going with that. Um, we're trying to just feel it out. We're still feeling it out, figuring it out. So if uh, if you've been sticking around watching some of the stuff, I appreciate you. Just want to give a quick shout out to you guys for that and just for continuing to support, even though things are kind of different around here. So thank you for that. And um, I just hope you guys are doing well, and I hope that uh, 
you know, continue to put out content that you guys want to see. If you have any things that you do specifically want to see, as always, leave them in the comments because at the end of the day, my favorite part about YouTube is interacting with and getting to talk to and know you guys. So that's it. Make sure to smash the subscribe button, leave a comment, leave a like. That all really helps me out, and I appreciate it the most. That's all I got, like I said. So thank you guys, and uh, we'll see you in the next one.